Welcome to the latest tech tip from the PPI group. I'm Crystal Pearson, and today we're going to talk about Autodesk's Revit Viewer. Have you ever needed to view Revit drawings, but you didn't have a current license of Revit? You may already know that you can view Revit files using the DWF format and Autodesk Design Review. It's a free download from Autodesk's website. But wouldn't you like to have full access to the information in the Revit model? The Revit viewer gives you the ability to fully explore the Revit model without affecting the central file. Installing the Revit viewer is simple. For standalone installations, install the free tile from Autodesk's website. Use the desktop trial. The viewer is available as an installation along with the full Revit software because it is simply a shortcut to the demo mode of Revit. Once you have downloaded the trial, choose the radio button to try it for 30 days. When the 30 day trial is over, the full version of Revit will no longer be available, but the viewer will retain its functionality. To access the Revit viewer, click the Windows Start button. Select All Programs, Autodesk, and browse to the Revit folder. There's your Revit viewer. If desired, you can right-click to drag and drop to create a shortcut on your desktop. It's okay to delete the icon for the full version of Revit. This will help minimize confusion. Double-click the new icon to start the viewer. When the viewer first opens, the current license status dialog box appears. This helpful alert informs the user about the functionality of the viewer, as opposed to using the full version of Revit. It will also reappear if the user tries to use a feature that is not available. Close the alert and open any file you want to view. An activation code is not needed to simply view the files. If the software prompts for activation, that's an indication the full version was initiated rather than the viewer. You can use the Revit viewer the same way you would a full version of Revit. You can open existing files. You could even open a new drawing, but you would still have the limitations of using the viewer. You can tell you were in viewer mode because at the top center of the application, it will say viewer mode. The viewer will open all native Revit file formats, the RVT project file format, RFAs, your family files, and RTE, template files. The Revit model can be fully modified from within the viewer, but there are some limitations after changes have been made in the file. Let's take a look. Before any changes have been made to the file, the viewer has regular printing capabilities. You can print to a local or a network printer. You can even create a PDF. Once any changes are made to the file, drawings can no longer be printed and will only have viewing privileges. Warnings like this will appear when any unavailable action is attempted. It will tell you that your file is not printed and also that drawings have not been saved because they cannot be saved or saved as at any time. The viewer can also export to certain file formats such as DWF, IFC, and JPG if no changes have been made. Other file formats such as DWG and DXF cannot be exported or published at any time. 
Here are some tips and tricks for using the Revit Viewer. The Revit Viewer can use the basic Revit Interference Check tool. So coordination issues can be viewed and analyzed in real time as the model is being created. Work shared project files can also be opened and edited in the viewer. If it is important for the work shared project to be printed, then detach from central and create a new local must be unchecked in the File Open dialog box before opening it in the viewer. Opening the file in this way ensures that changes are not made to the project as it is opened. If they are checked on, then the project cannot be printed. If it is more important for the work shared project to be edited, then Detach from Central should be checked. The viewer will give this alert to inform the user if the work shared file cannot be edited. The viewer prevents ownership of elements in order to safeguard changes to the central file. However, it still allows reload latest. This allows the user to monitor changes as they happen by reloading. The viewer may prompt the user to save to central. While this alert may present itself, the viewer is not actually able to save to the central file. The Revit Viewer gives non-Revit users the ability to fully explore a Revit model without affecting the central file. The last tip for today will be for Revit software versions 2011 and older. The Demo Viewer mode can be enabled from the Help drop-down at the top right of the Revit window. Go to About Revit, Product License Information, and change the license type to Demo Viewer. And that concludes your tech tips for the Autodesk Viewer. I'm Crystal Pearson for the PPI Group. Thanks for watching.